My name is Gary Metro, and I'm the editor of the Southern Illinoisan. I've been in the newspaper business for more than 30 years, and I've seen a lot of changes. One of the biggest changes has been the manner in which we prepare news stories. When I first started out, I worked on a manual typewriter. It was an Underwood, but not terribly dissimilar from the Royal that you'll see later in this uh, video. It was somewhat of hard physical labor, at least for your hands. The, the way it worked is you would have to get two sheets of copy paper, rough stuff, the kind of stuff you, that would actually be newsprint today, put a piece of carbon paper between those two sheets of paper, roll it into your typewriter, get it squared off more or less, and then start banging away. Uh, start writing a story with the most important stuff at the top and uh, proceed until you got the least important stuff at the bottom. When you finally finished with it, you'd pull the thing out of your typewriter, you'd, uh, you'd keep uh, the, the originals all in one stack and you'd keep your carbons all in one stack. You would take those originals and you would paste them together into one long, what we called a take. Uh, and you would take that two or three takes, we used to call them books, two or three books. You'd take them over to a, a city editor or some person like that who would be sitting at a desk maybe 15, 20 feet away and you'd put it in their basket. It was almost always a man, he was almost always small, and he was almost always smoking and telling you how crappy your work was. He would take that story and he would mark it up so that it uh, it met his standards, which usually were pretty good. It would then be taken into a room where a bunch of women worked on, and I'm not saying this in a condescending manner, they always were women, where a bunch of women were typing the stories onto computer tape, which got fed into a computer and came out being cold type. So that's how we worked up a story when I first got into the business. Today, it's much simpler to write a story. We all work at computers that are at our desks, and those computers make the job considerably easier. You don't have to grind in a strip of paper each time you want to do a story. You don't have to have carbon paper. In fact, I can't even remember the last time I saw carbon paper. And you're able to correct mistakes as you type along. Uh, someone that's not a good typist like me, I never learned how to touch type in high school. I just hunt and pack, and, and I got pretty fast at it. Um, it's easier to fix the mistakes that inevitably happen as you're writing faster than your brain works, which happens to me a lot. So you work on a computer now, and when you're done, you save it, and it goes into, you transfer it into what we call a queue, where another editor who is never smoking, could be male or female, never yells, looks at the story and fixes it to their satisfaction. It then goes to a copy and design editor who lays it onto a page, puts a headline on it, maybe adds a picture to it, puts your byline on it. Uh, when they finally press a button when that page is done, it goes out into a machine that makes it directly into a printing plate. Uh, and that's how it all happens now.